Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how we can do camera calibration with OpenCV. So, uh, in OpenCV Wiki, there is a page uh, that describing the procedures for doing camera calibration. So, I will explain the procedures again because it's, it is known for uh, beginners. Okay, so first we need to download OpenCV from SourceForge. Uh, so for, for net projects open CV library you have to download this file after that you have to install it the installation is just an extraction and I will show you uh, how it looks like this is the installed open CV folder and uh, it have uh, a build folder and sample and for doing camera calibration, uh, we need an example file that's present in this tutorial called Calib3D camera calibration. So this is a file we want. And for setting OpenCV in Visual Studio, uh, if you have doubt, just go through my blog technolabs.com, and in that I explain the procedures for setting. Uh, open see in Visual Studio. Okay, after that, after setting, after setting the uh, library and include directories, just copy paste the calibration program and just build. It's already built now, and just go through the the release folder that is in uh, project. Open see copy hello world release and just press shift and a mouse, right mouse click and then it will up, uh, then this menu will appear open command window here and just execute hello world this is executable we get so it will print a message this is a camera calibration sample you save camera calibration and configuration file and uh, 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 so it needs a configuration file. So uh, in the tutorial, uh, tutorial they provide this configuration file, and I will open this configuration file. It will, it is a configuration file has uh, uh, some parameters like uh, uh, chessboard width and height. Actually, we are doing camera calibration using a chessboard. So we have to disc, uh, describe the the width and height and the dimension of a chessboard square and the type of input it can be a camera uh, or it, it can be a video or a, a list of images so I'm using a camera and if you use a camera you have to specify the camera index here now uh, I'm uh, I'm putting it is to zero maybe it's one or two Okay, then the input delay and um, uh, there is an output XML file. Actually, after doing calibration, after calibration, we will get an XML file contain all the distortion parameters and uh, the camera metrics, etc., etc. Uh, so uh, I will show you uh, how we can how we can run this program using this uh, calibration file. Just the hello world and in VD file. So it will open and just show the uh, chessboard. Yeah, it's detecting. And for st starting camera calibration, you have to press G. Yeah, I press G, and it's it's capturing the the frames. Uh, we need ten frames that can be adjusted in the uh, configuration file. Yeah, now it's calibrated. See the frames have a bulge here. It's adjusted the all parameters, distortion, etc. Now the detection is more proper. See. Okay, that's that's all for the camera calibration. Uh, thank you guys. Have a great day.